Hello everybody. Welcome to Adventures of Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm a first year beekeeper. Today I want to show you some Cypress Bee Equipment that I got from a company named Cypress Bee Equipment and it's in Franklin, Kentucky. And I bought this Cypress Bee Equipment for two reasons. One is I was giving the money as a birthday gift to go and buy this and the other one is so that I would have some extra equipment for next year. So, included in this uh, complete hive, which what we're going to show you is uh, the complete hive 10 frame no paint 209. And uh, com included with this is the hive stand. And you can see that it's uh, well constructed, well made. And it has this edge here where the uh, bottom board will sit. And then you have this landing board here. So that brings us to the next item on the list, and that is the bottom board. This is a screened bottom board, and it comes with the insert so that you can insert this in, uh, say if you have a really cold night in the winter, or if you want to count some uh, varroa mites or something, whatever is falling through, you put this in here to do the counting. And then it's uh, screened, and of course it's cypress. So this goes right here. And you line it up a little bit, and it goes right there like that. And then uh, you, from the back, you can either insert or remove. Hmm. It's not as easy as I thought. Insert or remove that uh, insert. Uh, the next item on the list is the uh, reducer entrance reducer and you can see that there's two settings you can have this little tiny uh, hole or you can have this uh, setting here um, and that that would go right here in the front of the, the hive uh, when you need it the next thing is the hive box or the brood box this is uh, considered a deep we call it a deep or a brood box and it comes with 10 frames and the 10 frames in this particular situation have um, black uh, foundation. And the reason for a black foundation is so that when you're looking for the little white larvae or the little white uh, eggs, you should be able to see them better uh, as you look down into the comb uh, onto a black back surface there. So it's a uh, foundation on both sides and then it's well made. Uh, you have uh, staples going in this way, uh, staples here, staples here, and they are glued. I can't actually see any glue right this minute, uh, but yeah, right here. You can see that it's the, the, the top of the frame is glued. And also right here, you can see that uh, this is glued. Now, this is a Man Lake frame. Uh, the uh, place that I got this sells Man Lake frames. Cypress Bee Equipment sells Man Lake frames. So this would be a brood box, and you would put this right on the box like this. And then optionally, optionally you can put in the uh, entrance reducer as needed. Uh, sometimes you won't need it at all, but sometimes you might need it uh, at different times of the year. So second, the next thing is in this, uh, complete hive box, complete hive, is another deep, another deep with 10 frames. And you would add these as necessary uh, as your hive grows, you would add these. And again, these are uh, black foundation, 10 frames, um, uh, man-like frames, but Cypress box, Cypress built box. And then, the next thing that would go on top of this as your hive grows and you've got uh, two deeps and now it's time to uh, get some honey and start harvesting some honey, you would add a honey super. This is a, a medium honey super and uh, it comes with 10 frames and uh, those 10 frames come in this case with yellow foundation. Uh, this would be uh, just a preference uh, for me to have yellow foundation here where the honey would be so that I can just look and see that, you know, this, this is supposed to be a honey frame. Uh, 
Then if this is, gets all filled up by your bees, which I hope, uh, then you would go ahead and add another super, another medium super onto this. Now you have your another set of 10 frames, cypress box, medium super, and so on. So let's back up just a moment. And something that you will use in all cases is um, the inner cover. So you would use the inner cover to cover uh, the, the bees. There's a slight vent hole here. And uh, this inner, this is the inner cover. There's cypress on the outside. I think it's just plywood here. But cypress on the outside. And that would go here. And then in whichever condition you are, whichever, however many uh, boxes you have, you would put this on. And then you would put the telescoping cover. This is the telescoping cover. And the reason that it's telescoping is that it has a long sides here all around on all sides and uh, it has an aluminum top aluminum top here which helps preserve the wood and then that goes and sits right on here like this okay now if you were going if it's time to add your honey supers you would go ahead and take this off take this off put however many honey supers you need onto your uh, hive so you need two honey supers and then you would add the inner cover and then you would add the telescoping top and i hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction to the cypress um, bee equipment's uh, complete hive and one of the reasons that we use Cypress is because you don't have to paint it, you don't have to do anything to it, and it will last and last and last and last. It will not rot, and it will just last and last and last. Now, uh, when you look at these and you look at the prices from uh, Cypress Bee Equipment, you'll notice that if you, you have to go and pick these up, but if you go there and pick them up, they're actually less expensive than pine from other companies and then you don't have to paint or anything uh, so i hope you enjoyed this introduction to cypress bee equipment and uh thank you very much for watching uh you have a great day and god bless